Well, let's go. My beloved, <laughs> didn't expect a skit like that. So then, that letter from Rain wasn't a love letter after all. I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> a woman of her quality deserves a far better man than I. Perhaps Rain and Regal are both simply too attractive for the match to ever work. No way, that's exactly why they're perfect for each other. There is another to whom I've already pledged my heart. What? There is? However, she has passed on. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, there is no need to be. I'm the one who can't seem to lay the past to rest. I'm sure she's glad to have you keeping her memory alive, though. I'm actually a little jealous. Thank you. Ah, Alicia. If you didn't know, that is, um, Rigo's dead lover. Alicia was... she's so cute. <laughs> uh, I'm a pedophile. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> okay, anyway, fight part three. Why don't you guys say something? Uh, I can't stand this sort of thing. Do something, Regal! Let them be. The problem is theirs. They will solve it on their own. Yeah, I guess. But they're driving me up the wall. Same here. <laughs> well, you know... If you're the one who's always asking for help and never getting anything in return, I think people... You would probably be pissed too, actually. Because I'm sure that's how Ratatosk mode Emil feels right now. <clears throat> Though he is kind of too much of a douchebag. <laughs> but you have to give uh, Jenny uh, Bush credit. He did a good job making an asshole and a pipsqueak at the same time. Sheena, I heard you've been busy. Aster? Damn it, not this again. Sorry about his language. Actually, I'm here because there's something I need to ask you. Relina was working on research related to Ratatosk, based on Aster's research notes and continuing where he left off. You should be able to find all of her records downstairs. Feel free to browse through them. Thank you very much. I really can't believe that you're not Aster. Yeah, yeah, we've heard it all before. <clears throat> Let's just go check out those notes and then we can finally go rescue her. She's probably like waiting for us like, Oh, where the fuck are those guys? It looks like these are Relina's notes. The guardian of the Ganungagop, the door to the demonic realm, is named Ratatosk. Tenebrae, is demonic realm Nivelheim? Yes. Then can we assume this Ganungagop is the door between Nivelheim and this world? That is correct. Lord Ratatosk is its guardian. There's no way someone like that could be the demon lord. Sounds more like he's protecting this world. <laughs> Maybe Richter wants to use Ratatosk's power to get revenge on this world for its prejudice against half-elves. What? It's just... you never stand up for Richter when you're in Ratatosk mode. <laughs> if I'm really Aster, that means Richter tried to kill me. Why would I want to stand up for him? Richter's not that sort of person! Emil! Who said you could come out? Emil, what's going on inside you right now? Who cares? We care! Tenebrae, what's going on here? I believe it's just his strong desire to protect Lady Marta. That's the biggest load of bull I've ever heard in my life. Is that really all? Doesn't look like there's anything new in these notes. Let's hurry up and get out of this place. <laughs> you really think I would believe that bullshit? Obviously Emil wants to come out.
Are you finished? Yes, thank you. Hey, you're Marta, right? Yes. That on your forehead, that's Ratatosk's core? Yes. Do you feel all right? W what are you talking about? I heard from Relina that Centurion's cores have a composition very similar to that of X-Fears. Of course, there are some minor differences between the two, organic versus inorganic, etc. So what? X-Fears are toxic if attached directly to the body without the proper protection. Eventually, it will take over its host's body. Damn it, I wanted to make a that's what she said joke right there. God damn it! If Ratatosk's core is similar to a Centurion's core, you should be careful about it. Marta, do you feel a sense of emptiness anywhere? Or have you experienced any sort of changes? <laughs> no, I'm fine. I don't feel anything strange at all. And anyway, if there was any sort of danger, I'm sure Tenebrae would let me know. I'm sure you're right, but maybe we should get someone to check, just to be sure. I'm fine, seriously. I feel great. Anyway, shouldn't we be worrying about Rolina right now? Oh, I heard that the path to the Temple of Earth has finally been cleared. Oh, then we better get going right away. All right, but promise to tell us the minute you feel anything out of the ordinary. Oh, come on. She's fine. I mean, it's just Ratatouille's core. Psh. Nah, no, no, I'm wrong. Uh, another cutscene? Is something the matter? We were clearing rubble in the Temple of Earth and found an injured woman buried inside. <sighs> that could be Relina. Where is she right now? She's still inside the temple. Emil, where are you going? We're going inside to find that Relina woman, right? <gasps> All right, let's go then. Yeah. Hey, why are we having this discussion? Of course we're going. Wow, that's a long one. Experience and Centurions course. So, x can hurt the people who equip them. I wonder if the same is true about Ratatosk's core. What if the core starts to affect me and I don't realize it? What will happen to me? Lady Marta, you do not look well. Oh, no. I'm just a bit tired. Oh, yeah? Wanna take a break? No, I'll be fine. We've gotta get to the Temple of Earth. <laughs> you know, this actually makes sense of why Marta can fight with, um, Rico and Sheena. I mean, Emil has Ranitas mode, so that makes sense. Um, and of course, Rico and Sheena, I believe, still have their X fears. So you never know how Marta fights, but I guess it's Ranitas. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I guess it has to be him. Is something wrong, Marta? Emil, are you really back to normal? Yeah, but Marta, what's wrong? It's nothing. Nothing at all. Don't lie. I can tell. You're worried about something, aren't you? Hmm. This doesn't sound right. I guess I can't fool you. I've heard about x fears how they eventually turn people into monsters. What happens if we don't free Ratatosk in time? Will I turn into a monster too? You fool. Tenebrae would never put you in that sort of danger. You fool? Has Emil ever said that? 
You fool. Oops. I guess I got used to talking in Ratatosk mode. Anyway, it's okay. I'm sure of it. I'll protect you. I'll protect you from the Vanguard and from Ratatosk's core. Thanks. I'll be okay. I still don't believe that Ratatosk's dangerous anyway. Come on, you two. We're going. Okay. Hey, Emil. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But you're the Ratatosk mode, Emil, right? I'm sorry I'm always mad at you. You probably hate me. But you still tried to cheer me up. You're really just as nice a person as the other Emil. No, he's not. <laughs> <sighs> You've got me all wrong. I was just sick and tired of you getting mad all the time. You're right. I feel bad about that. I'm sorry. So you stop saying careless things about other people's lives too, okay? Come on, what's the hold up? <laughs> Sorry. I'm not nice. You were asking for help, so I helped you. That's all. Emil, has your memory returned? I'm just gonna shut up and handle the fighting. So if the time comes and the other Emil isn't up to the task, I'm counting on you, Tenebrae. Understood. I wonder where Relina is. Um, this is the Temple of Earth, right? Why are we here? Damn, where have you been? <laughs> huh? You're out of Ratatosk mode. I'm sorry. Lately, I've been having trouble remembering while I'm in that mode. It does seem that way. What's the last thing you remember? I remember being in the Temple of Lightning, with Dex about to kill me. Alright, let me bring you up to speed. Black screen? Yeah, hot five. Thank you. At least now I know what happened. I'm sorry for causing trouble. Don't worry about it. Where's the woman you found here? She's further in. They're just about to carry her out. Let's go. I hope she's okay. Emil! Right, let's go. 